YouTube and beyond, what's up? Welcome back to the Metal Man Cave. I'm Glenn, and today we're gonna do another unboxing video. I got some positive feedback on the last one. I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. I wasn't planning on doing another one, but it turns out that I've got something really cool that I want to unbox and share with everybody. So I play bass in a band called Undead Miscreant, and I record and play all the bass on my own stuff, Autumn Eulogy and Blood Mountain. And so I do a lot of different tunings with uh, Undead Miscreant. We're tuned down to C standard, so two steps below E standard. Um, with Autumn Eulogy, I'm doing C standard, I'm doing D standard, I'm doing E flat. And of course I like to play stuff in regular E standard too, so, so for guitar, I have a different guitar in each one of those tunings already so that I don't have to fart around and retune all the time and worry about intonation and stupid stuff like that and string gauges and crap, forget it. So for bass, I've only got two basses and one of them is always flipping back and forth between uh, D standard and E flat standard which isn't a big change and doesn't really involve a lot. But then the other bass that I have is tuned down to C and that's where I did Miscreant. So at the end of it all, I wanted to get a bass that I could keep in C standard for Undead Miscreant stuff and for the low tune stuff with Blood Mountain and Claude Mulegy. And I figured, you know what, I'm just going to get another bass. So another factor that played into my need for a new bass guitar was it needed to be affordable. So in watching all these videos online and reviews online, I kept coming back to these Harley Benton basses that everybody had been raving about saying that the, you know, the price point was great and the quality of the build and the quality of the instrument was also really good. So I went online to Thoman.de, which is based in Germany, and I ordered a bass guitar from them. And five days later, this box arrived in the mail. Let me get that up here. As you can see, five days during a pandemic, the bass arrived in Canada from Germany. Very impressive. Thank you very much, Thoman. So what is this? What's in the box? This is the Harley Benton PB20 SBK, which is the Harley Benton Precision Bass 20 frets satin black. So let's crack this open and have a look at it. Obviously, it's double boxed. Big, thick staples. We'll see how this fared in international shipping. Oh, papier, papier, papier. Oh, and what's inside the box? But could it be another box? It sure is another box. Let's get this out of the way. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Exciting. When this arrived this morning, there was no phone call or email or anything sent from the delivery driver. So I was a little bit freaked out to see this thing appear on my front step when I popped my head out to check the weather. Good thing no porch pirates were in the area at the time. So, here we go. Go like that. And inside here is lots of bubble paper wrapped with an elastic band. Oh boy. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Well, there's some paper on here to protect the strings. Let's get this stuff off of here. Trusty knife. Very, very nice. Alrighty, and here we go. The Harley Benton PB20 SBK. You can see it's got a tortoise shell pick guard, single set of pickups in there, passive pickups, got a volume, it's got a tone, nice satin black finish. The satin black is even on the back of the neck, feels great. So it looks great. Probably not in tune. Although it is tuned really low, which is kind of cool. It's almost like they knew that I wanted this thing for some fucking death metal. Let's get this thing tuned up and uh, give it a shot.
right out of the box, I'm finding that uh, it was already almost tuned down to C standard, which is perfect. But these strings are really thin, so I'm going to put some new strings on it, obviously. Something really thick. Um, it sounds decent. This is just straight through a bass pod. I don't even know what setting it's on. It's got some compression. It's supposedly some 80s arena rock sound. The neck is a little bit thicker than I was hoping for. It's uh, it's not quite a D shape, but it is pretty thick. Um, it's very close to my Ibanez. 5 string geo which I find would never be a good live bass um, for just for the sheer size thickness of the neck but it feels great like I mean the sa this satin finish is awesome your fingers don't stick to it like a painted neck would uh, which I really really like <laughs> the satin finish is really really nice so when you're doing you know sort of sliding up the neck and stuff it feels really really nice um, it looks great the the black matte finish is kick-ass um, I did notice one weird little imperfection when I took the plastic off the tortoiseshell pickguard is there there's a little tiny what looks like to be a drill mark in between where the two pickups are on the uh, on the tortoiseshell pickguard itself, it looks like it's right through into the wood. Like somebody took a little tiny drill and put a little hole for some reason. Uh, I'll try and get some pictures of that so you can see it. It's not a big deal, but it's there. Um, you know, there's no cracks in the finish. Um, no real blemishes that I can find other than that. It feels great. The bridge feels nice and solid. So. This definitely needs uh, strap locks though. All my uh, guitars have strap locks uh, and especially this guy's going to need it because when Undead Miscreant starts playing live again uh, this will be my main bass I think. And I'm really really pleased with it. Um, you know for, for the price that it was I can't go wrong. This was with shipping, 250 bucks Canadian, and then there was a $30 customs fee, which uh, you know you pay online to uh, UPS before it gets there. UPS's website sucks ass. Like I said, UPS did not call or send an email alert that they were dropping off. This thing just showed up on my door in the morning, and I just happened to notice it was there five days after I ordered it from Thoman in Germany. So thank you Thoman so very much for being so awesome and sending this so quickly. I really, really appreciate this. And uh, I'm gonna jam away on this thing for a while. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this uh, unboxing of the Harley Benton uh, PB20 SBK. Hope this audio sounds decent. <laughs>